person. Other people are saying that's bullshit. He just talked to them. I don't so, think he's hired any. Do you think all, he's no going to be out? hire a crisis person better than me? I might not be in the position of being a crisis he manager, but someone that he's hiring, I don't care who they are. I don't even want to know a name. They don't know what it's like to go through a crisis more than me. And I can tell you that crisis Why don't you manager, start a company? I should. A crisis manager is not going to help you right now because it's after the fact. So all this apologizing or saying it didn't happen or whatever, that's not, that's not what's going to help you. I think, you know, I think the damage has been done. I think, but the thing is, is the culture there is about drinking and about having fun and about being silly and goofy. So I don't know. I think he might get a slap on the wrist. I don't, I don't know. But, you know, then again, you hear people like, um, Rick Leventhal and Kelly Dodd on their show talking about the fact that they believe he's getting, he's in the middle of negotiating an exit package right now. I yeah, would be Well, shocked. I mean, Kelly and Rick, I, I love them, but they say things like I saw a video of Kelly's and she was like a pig in shit. And she said, this is what happens when all the woke people stay on the network. Kelly just She's like it's another. It's not person. about woke people. No, it's but Kelly's so excited. I, lo like, I love Kelly. They are. I love her too. Both friends of mine, but I don't. I don't what? believe it has anything to do with being woke. I don't. No, but th that's what she said. I don't agree with that. But she like they're so excited that this is happening to Andy. Kelly can't control her excitement through through the screen. I and sure I get it. He fired her. Gotta, so she probably but, wants him yes. to go down. I get that. And I I, I get it either. But I don't know if I agree with that statement of Kelly and Rick's that they're exiting an exit package. Do you think he's going to end? I mean, do you, where do you think this is going to go? Crisis management expert. I think, I think that if I was the person that ran NBC right now, I'd be like, we got a real problem. We have a so. real problem that we have to deal with. And everyone that we've seen get canceled and get fired because of the Me Too movement um, was fired for less than what's happened with Andy. Not everyone, many people. Putting their arm around someone too tight, you know, saying, oh, hey, baby. They have him on tape saying some real things. So I know he didn't mean it. I know he didn't want to have sex with somebody. I We all know, but it doesn't matter because you can't prove intent. And if you can't prove intent with a man who's straight, you can't say, that just because he's gay, it makes him innocent. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Like, we all know he didn't mean it. But why can we say we know the guy who was straight meant it because he put his arm around a woman? Like, Correct. You know, like, listen, I know women for years that were having an affair with Matt Lauer. They were not forced to have an affair with Matt Lauer. They were like, I'm having an affair with Matt Lauer, that hot guy, sure. powerful man. I feel better about myself because I'm sleeping with him. They, you know, and then all of a sudden it became, he was taking advantage of women. Listen, I don't know the situations where he may have been, but I know plenty of women. Listen, it made him a terrible husband, had nothing to do with his job with those women that I'm talking about, you know, like they knew exactly what they were doing. And that's what I mean. This culture of, of people that don't want to take responsibility until after the fact, they want to blame someone else for their actions. There are certain, certain circumstances, of course, where people are taken advantage of, of course, but there are plenty where people are jumping on the bandwagon for, for no reason. So do I think Andy is going to get in trouble? I don't know. Should he? <sighs> yes, because he's done things that other people have gotten in trouble for. Should he, because he really meant it? No, I don't think he meant it. I don't think that he had bad intentions, but I think that he may be held accountable and that will be very interesting that will be a very interesting day when that happens i agree with all of that i'm not sure either but many other people that have done way less have been held accountable and if he's and, not then he really i guess is untouchable which i yeah, think and the one other thing i want to say about that is that there is a a a, a what is the word i'm looking for there is a methodical program I will say of something that happens to anyone, they start low, they get high. And when they get too yes. big, it's a, what people have called a crabs in a barrel situation. When mm -hmm. someone gets too high, everyone else wants to pull them down. And we see it in every scenario, a, a sex scandal of a man, uh, a, a, um, 
you know, somebody who's doing so well. I'm waiting for Taylor Swift's fall because everyone loves her. They're putting her on a pedestal. And I said to my daughter, who is obsessed with her, who woke, wakes up every morning at 8 a.m. screaming her guts out because she wants to listen to the surprise songs that are happening in Singapore, wherever the hell Taylor Swift is. She oh loves her. God. But I'm like, Wyatt, at some point, someone is going to pull Taylor down because she's too high and people don't like that. And that they, is just, I, am, how, I don't know if it's Americans. I don't know if it's human nature, but that is going to happen to anyone who's, who is up on a pedestal. It, it, in, you cannot name one person who has stayed up on a pedestal forever. We're talking about anyone from Chris, Chris Cuomo to Tiger Woods to, you know, like a president, you know, I, like, but I, I, I think it's two things. I think people do want to bring you down. I mean, you know, David Yonsef at the Behind the Velvet Rope podcast. It's one of the number one podcasts. People try to bring me down every day. It's not going to happen, darling. But I also think like what I say, like with housewives, like I think you also start to believe your own shit that a lot of people step in it and get cocky and, you know, don't don't realize that they're, you know, not above the law, so to speak. Does that make any sense? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I mean, I think no matter who you are, you don't have to be like a president of the United States to have somebody pull you down. It could be the guy, you know, that you're hanging out with on the corner store. You know, it's like in everyone's social circle, they will see that someone who gets too big for their britches, the hot girl, the quarterback, whoever it is in your circle is due for a fall when, when everyone likes them too much. It's yeah. Like, it's like human nature, you want to pull them down. You don't want to let them succeed for too long. Yes. And I'm, I, I agree with that. And I'm not, and it's terrible, but it is, we see it every time we see, we see it every time. And I think some of these housewives, some of the statements I find authentic, but all I'm saying is here's your boss. If he were not, if he goes down and I'm not wishing that I'm just saying, let's see how many of these housewives we can go on. Cynthia Bailey made a statement, Lisa Vanderpump, Lisa Vanderpump, I actually believe would stand by him. How many of these people like are going to stand by him when it's like, here's your contract for $800,000 to come back for another season of Housewives. Andy is the devil. He has fallen like Matt Lauer, Chris Harrison. He is not your boss. You know what I'm saying? People in Bachelor Nation stood by Chris Harrison. He then realized who his real friends were. I don't know if all, all I'm saying is I don't know if all these Housewives are going to truly stand by him if he were to get Listen. exit. Yeah, That's all I'm great saying. Time. This is a great time for him to have an exit pack package. He can get a great one with a at ton least of money. twenty five million. And then, yeah. and then he can work on his. He can work on a network. He he's already doing what uh, a book publishing. But will but will division. that go away? Like how far will this fall? I mean, Chris Harrison has a podcast. Will Sirius get rid of him? No, I don't. Okay. Think so. no? Okay. I don't think so. Okay. No one at Sirius is accusing him of anything. I mean, if Jeff Lewis I know, but... have a, a whole network on Sirius and so many people have problems with Jeff Lewis, you know, and are always getting in fights with him. I love Jeff Lewis. So, but I'm just saying, you know, you see all that. It, you keep hearing about all that animosity of the people keep leaving or whatever. Donald Lewis, blah, blah, blah. I don't yeah, know whatever. What but happened. it's like, what well, I love Jeff, but like people that work with him, obviously there's some issues there. Not everyone he, does. He's darling. able to not get canceled. Why, why, you know, I know he has his own issues with Andy, I think. He does, although he hides them now because he's on Radio Andy. But you look at like Astasi Schroeder, she lost the book deal. She lost the tour. She lost the podcast. Oh, it's, all of it's come back now. But at the time, she got everything pulled away. I agree. I agree with you. I really don't know what's going to happen. And by the way, the one thing, I just the only thing that I thought was humorous that I want to point out about Marge's statement is yeah. she goes on to say, those 